Hi everyone, UK Girl in SF here. So as you can see, I have my wall paint on. I was out to dinner earlier on with a friend. So before I take it off, I'm going to do a quick video just to take advantage of the fact that I still have the makeup on. And my friends and I, we were discussing the state of the world, which we always do when we get together. And that made me think of years ago when I went traveling around Asia with a very good friend of mine. We, uh, we visited about seven or eight countries and one of them was India. And we had a fantastic time. And I've always told people that India was the highlight of my trip. And if I had the money, I would definitely go back. But unfortunately, I've changed my mind. On principle, I would not go back because of the way women have been treated there recently. And we all know what's happened in India. So, but looking back on it, I think, God, we were so lucky because we were two women on our own traveling without a male escort. And we had a lot of aggression um, pointed in our direction. And we were too naive to realize how it could have been. Uh, we had f stones thrown at us. We had finger pointing. We were spat at. And there was, you know, uh, when we got off trains or anywhere like that or arrived in a new place, we were surrounded by all these men and a lot of them wanted us to take their tuk-tuk as opposed to going with someone else. So there was a lot of aggression and we really did get into quite a few verbal arguments with people. Now, a lot of Indians, they look on Westerners, uh, male and female, as having a lot of money. We're rich. They don't realize that most of us travel on a budget. We, you know, we go traveling around the world backpacking, which is what my friend and I did. And they assume we've got money, but we really have a budget, you know. And so we had a lot of aggression towards us. And I think it was partly due to the fact that we were Westerners and that they thought we had money and also because we were two females on our own. So we had a bit of a tough time. There was an incident in the desert um, the two of us went out with two guys on camels. How naive is that? We were the only two females in the middle of nowhere in the desert. Anything could have happened to us. God forbid. But, you know, we were very lucky that it didn't. And we were stranded there because we got into this argument with one of the camel herders. And the only thing that saved us was a bus came along full of school children and we managed to persuade them to take us to the nearest town, which is where we were staying, actually. So we got lucky on that occasion. Another time we got into a big argument with a tuk-tuk driver because we told him where we wanted to go and he knew where we wanted to go, but he went all round the houses. That's an English expression, meaning he went out of the way deliberately. So I refused to pay him. So he dropped us off in the middle of nowhere. Again, we had no idea where we were. And if it hadn't been for an American guy who came along, who was working in the area for an oil company, God knows what would have happened to us. But having said all that, they are also very, very friendly people and they will share their last meal with you. We had people take us into their homes, very generous. They shared everything they had with us which wasn't much, you know, I mean, they didn't have much food. And when you travel um, around the world, you realize how lucky you are. What you have at home is in abundance. And that is certainly the case in America. We have so much here. And yes, there is poverty in America, but it's nothing like the poverty in Asia, especially India. We have so much, they have so little. And they will share their last meal with you. And they are so friendly, most of them anyway. Uh, so we were lucky. We encountered really friendly people and we encountered a few unfriendly people. But travel is one of the best things you can do. I, I, I highly recommend it. I mean, you have to be more careful nowadays. You know, it's a very dangerous world we live in and it wasn't quite so dangerous when we went traveling but the world has changed so much. 
but I highly recommend it because you learn different cultures, you learn about different people, and you get to appreciate what you have at home, like I say. So we're very lucky in America, and uh, I really did love my time in India. It, it's a beautiful country, but the poverty is very hard to take. It's a cultural shock. So if you're going to India anytime soon, please bear that in mind. You will see some really horrible things. And it's very sad, but it does make you appreciate what you have. Anyway, this is UK Girl in SF, sounding out and signing off.